On November 24, 2024, the Israeli Ministry of Defense revealed a series of major updates to the country's military capabilities, with the Ministerial Committee for Equipping and Power Building approving a range of procurement and modernization projects for the Israel Defense Forces, IDF. Among these projects are the replacement of the Nirit, SAR 4.5 fleet and the acquisition of hundreds of joint light tactical vehicles, JLTVs, locally referred to as PARA. One of the most significant initiatives in the recent announcement is the procurement of JLTVs, manufactured by Oshkosh Defense in the United States. The JLTV program was developed to replace the aging high-mobility multipurpose wheeled vehicle, HMMWV, also known as the Humvee, aiming to provide the IDF with enhanced survivability, mobility, and overall operational effectiveness. The JLTV is set to replace older fleets of Humvees and M113 armored personnel carriers within the IDF. This acquisition is part of Israel's broader efforts to modernize its military equipment, ensuring that its forces are equipped with more advanced systems. The initial order for 75 JLTVs was made in December 2023 through the U.S. Foreign Military Sales FMS mechanism, and additional units were acquired through Direct Commercial Sales DCS. By November 2024, the IDF had already deployed some of these vehicles in operational settings, signaling their active integration into the military. The procurement of JLTVs is also tied to a broader U.S. military aid package announced in March 2024, valued at approximately $30 million. This package includes not only the JLTVs but also a variety of advanced military systems such as laser-guided missiles, artillery shells, night vision devices, and bunker buster munitions. The JLTVs themselves come equipped with armored components produced by the Israeli company Plazen, via its U.S.-based subsidiary, Plazen North America. The vehicles use a kit hull concept, which allows for the efficient manufacture and delivery of pre-assembled armored cabins. The JLTV is designed with several key features aimed at enhancing the protection and mobility of its occupants. It boasts a V-shaped hull for superior blast protection, scalable armor for varying mission requirements, and an independent suspension system that ensures high off-road performance. Powered by a 6.6-liter diesel engine, the JLTV can reach a maximum speed of 110 km per hour, with a range of up to 480 km. The vehicle can be equipped with a variety of weapons, including machine guns, automatic grenade launchers, and anti-tank guided missiles, making it a versatile addition to the IDF's fleet. The JLTVs are expected to be deployed within several motorized brigades, including the paratrooper and KFIR brigades, to replace the aging M113 armored personnel carriers. Their design makes them suitable for both urban combat and off-road operations, ensuring that they meet the diverse demands of modern warfare. Israel's decision to adopt the JLTV follows a broader international trend, with several other countries, including Belgium, Brazil, Lithuania, and Romania, also incorporating the JLTV into their military forces. By mid-2023, Oshkosh Defense had already produced over 20,000 JLTVs, underlining the program's success and widespread adoption across NATO and allied nations. The JLTV program has also seen the development of specialized variants, such as the hybrid electric EJLTV and unmanned platforms, which cater to specific operational needs and reflect the program's ongoing evolution. These innovations highlight the JLTV's adaptability to emerging operational requirements, further cementing its role as a cornerstone of modern military fleets worldwide. In addition to the JLTV acquisition, the Israeli Ministry of Defense's approval to replace the Nirit, SAR 4.5 fleet demonstrates a continued effort to modernize Israel's military forces. The Nirit fleet, which has been in service for decades, will be replaced with newer and more advanced systems, complementing the integration of JLTVs into the IDF's arsenal. These initiatives reflect Israel's commitment to maintaining a cutting-edge military force capable of responding to evolving regional security challenges. The move towards advanced vehicles like the JLTV and the replacement of older fleets represent a broader trend within the IDF to upgrade its equipment, enhance domestic production capabilities, and integrate more advanced technologies into its operations. The Israeli Ministry of Defense's approval of new procurement and modernization projects signals a significant step forward for the Israel Defense Forces. The acquisition of JLTVs and the replacement of the Nirit fleet are crucial components of Israel's strategy to maintain military superiority in the region. By investing in advanced vehicles that provide enhanced survivability and mobility, the IDF is positioning itself to effectively meet future security challenges. These moves also underscore the growing integration of domestic and international defense technologies, 
highlighting the ongoing evolution of Israel's military capabilities.